Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and you have ordered your Take 5 kits. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. So we have our take five kit your kit will have a sticker on the outside telling you if you have a 15 block kit or a 30 block kit and then on the underside you will have the instructions I don't necessarily call this a pattern but it is some instructions to get you going and so we are going to take our product out of the bag And I just want to quickly go over some of the instructions or things that I have on here. If you want to see the videos that I have on the Take 5 quilts, all you have to do is go on YouTube. And once you're there in the YouTube search bar, just type in T Quilts Take 5. I have two videos where I have the quilt shown with sashing and one where the blocks are just sewn together. So on this set of um, Take 5, I'm just going to sew these blocks together as is without any sashing. I did give you some instructions for people that didn't want to do the video. If you are an advanced quilter, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. The instru it's instructions, not necessarily a pattern sheet, so it's not very detailed or as detailed as I would like if it was a pattern. And it's only a two-page instruction sheet. So when you get your Take 5 kit, you should have stacks of blocks, either 15 or 30. And I have even added more into mine because I wanted my quilt to be a 6x6 for a queen bed. Before I add borders, I need to make sure that I had a square instead of a rectangle. So I actually have 36 squares here. But... When it's cut, you can see that this is all cut from one piece of fabric here, especially when I turn that around right. <laughs> and um, it doesn't matter what orientation these are in the end because you can decide how you're going to rotate your blocks when you're doing your final setting. So the main thing is you don't want to just start sewing this stack to this stack. You want to make sure that you are changing these around. This is how they were cut on the die board. This is not how we want to necessarily sew them back together. So what I like to do is slide one of my squares off, slide this down, take this part, slide it down, and now we're going to put this up at the top. So that's how we're going to actually sew our blocks together. And this is how I would do it if I was uh, using the instruction sheet. And then now we want to take from these five stacks, we want to take four stacks and rotate a different block on top. Now, if I only had five fabrics, then of course I would be doing, I would take the top one and put it to the bottom on this stack and then on the next stack I would take the top two and put it on the bottom and then I would repeat that all the way throughout my quilt now because we have way more than five fabrics you can just go in here anywhere pull up a piece and say okay I like this one on top and I don't have to worry about counting just long as all of my pieces are different and then now that I've got this yellow I might want to find the yellow in the stack it's right here and I just want to go down somewhere further on the bottom and pull up 
my next set and so this is how I am actually going to sew my blocks together now I don't have masking tape <laughs> so I'm back and now I have some masking tape and what I'm going to do is put I'm going to actually use two pieces of tape at this point and that's because I am going to chain piece now if you get confused you may want to put tape on all of your pieces <laughs> okay so what I'm going to do here is I know that this is block one right here and I don't have a okay it's working now <laughs> so that's one and I'm going to put one on here and then for every block I am going to do a number so I'm going to go through this entire stack of ones and I'm going to put a one here I mean <laughs> I'm going to go through the entire stack and I'm going to put a two here and do the next fabric put a three the next fabric put a four and so forth all the way through this stack and this piece here and the reason why we're not going to do the other ones is because as we're piecing we're going to be moving this number over to the other pieces as we're piecing so for right now I'm just going to put a number two on the second one because I'm about to move that and my tape is coming apart <laughs> and another number two so I'm going to go ahead and put number two under here and number two over here. So what's going to happen is our first step is going to be to sew these into pairs. And when we're sewing these into pairs, we'll keep these in order, block number order, because every piece that we're sewing we sew a quarter inch seam the next one has the number so you're going to go through and mark all of these and then you're going to go chain piece these once these are chain pieced you're going to come back and put these into positions with your numbers still there and so that that way you know that the left side is here and you don't have it turned so that this fabric is over here turned upside down so make sure you keep your numbers on the pieces and then you're going to sew this seam here and then you're going to press that seam and you don't have to press these seams open just um, make it easy on yourself just press and then you're going to sew these two pieces together but before you do that you're going to take this number here and put it over here so that way you're always having something that you're sewing with a number and then these units here that are now sewn together also has a number so you know that this one now goes with this set of ones and so once you sew those seams together you're going to press and then you just have this long seam here so I am going to end this video part one because I want to make sure I get this part out and then I'm going to actually go sew these pieces together and uh, make a second video once they're sewn together. So I'll see you in part two. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.